everybody, Tina here from Tina's Coupon Swap and Reviews. Today I am bringing you a review from Homet Garment Rack, and this is their heavy duty wire shelving closet shelving unit on wheels. So uh, look at that. We're going to see it once he puts it together, but we just got it out of the box, and my husband is going to put it together. And we're going to go step by step watching them how to put it together. Now this is really heavy duty. I mean, it's, it was heavy. I, I don't remember what the weight of the box was, but it was really heavy. So the first thing you do, he's screwing the wheels on the bottom. It'll come all in little plastic bags. It comes with, it even comes with the wrench that you need to screw. Just to tighten them up. Just to tighten them up. It comes with the screw and the screwdriver and the wrench. Um, or it just it's, it's a, just a it's wrench. A wrench and you can use it as a screwdriver. It's a wrench and you can use it as a screwdriver. Yeah. Thanks. Because I mean the, the screws are pretty pretty big. I mean here look at the screws. Like, I would say like grab it and grab this. And I mean you can see what they're about. So I mean that's a pretty heavy duty screw that you need to. But I mean that fits in it just fine. Yeah, I can't do it one handed, but no, but I mean you can see. <laughs> you can totally get So I mean that. if you look at the directions like no tools. The first there. thing you do is you have to screw the the casters onto the bottom of the lower posts and tighten with a wrench. So I mean that's you know, this part right here. So then number two is to start by assembling the lowest shelf. Snap the clips onto the grooves in each of the four lower posts. Clips must be snapped together with the small tapered side facing up. Here, and they say top on the top. And if you look, here's the little plastic things, and they say top. So, I mean... It's really easy. Yeah, it's really easy. And you just have to make sure... Can you show me one of the other ones? What do you mean? Or they just all look like this? Yeah, they're So, I mean, they just take, you just take two of them and you snap them together. And you make sure they say, snap. I mean, we're about there. And yeah, and we're, he's about there. So, we're there right now. So, I mean, we're about to start putting them on right now. Sweet. All right, so the wheel is the bottom. I'm a, I'm a filmer. Yes. You do the film? Yes. Do the so then step three after that snap the clips at your next desired shelf height right here. slide the shelf down from the top of the post on the clips so I mean so there's all four legs and now we're about to watch him do right there. I was trying to show oh I didn't see it. So there. I line up one side. I put one side to where it's locked in place. Uh, there's where it says top. And then I snap the other one onto it. That seems to work the best. Okay. That way you at least know it's on a notch. Right. And you're putting them all in the same spot? Um, it's out on the bottom. On the four lowest. I think those three are done. I guess we'll see when we put the. Yeah, I mean, all put one of the shelves on. Is to hold. So I mean, how how nice is this? Once once let's All let's right, look at that on this. Ready. Okay. Are you ready? But it's got it's got a hanger bar right there, and right here. See, let's see if we can. That's a tie rack or a belt rack or, you know, and then each shelf can be a different you know a different shelf. Hold it. No. Oh. So then he's gonna put. With the shelf part of. Yeah. Make sure you don't hit my cup. I was just doing that. And Don't yeah, hit my second, Bailey's cup. The second that you put it in there, I mean, it's gonna. It just you can you can see it's it's nice and tense. I mean, I got it to where you can look at it. So I mean, only a little bit of it's even sticking out. Okay. All right, ta-da. So we got all four done. Now we're on to the, the second shelf up. 
So it's like, you know, you get two shelves on the bottom. I mean, honestly, we could probably put it on now, and then you just want the top on, so you just pick a spot and put that one on, right? Yeah. It shows both of them on before the next section. Or... Yeah, it does. Okay. So four is screw the upper, um, let's come on, screw the upper posts into the lower posts using the connectors which should already be screwed into one of the post tabs. Yep, yeah. which is a double male thread. That was the piece I was talking about, the silver piece. Yeah. They were talking about. That? Oh, this part right there? Yeah, like this comes out just in case it's not in there. It's a double threaded piece, like over six feet tall. <laughs> he says now it's over six feet tall. Cause right, and then for the top. It's taller than him. Put it right at the top, right? We'll say. That's where they'd probably say to put it. Like at the top. Um, well, two of them go for the little tie rack on the side. Yeah. Wherever we want to have the tie or belt rack, whatever it is. Yeah. Bring one by here. Yeah. Is that about right? Nope. Yep. Alright, and then I mean it's really easy. Just slides right on. Slides right on there. Awesome. Oh. And what? There are two extra pieces. I don't so I think got so. All four of the tops are put on. Awesome. Just but Okay, so we did step five. Already, he did the the top rack. So the next part is the hanger. So I mean, the directions just say put the hanger rod in the top shelf. But he, it's pretty much self-explanatory. You kind of just have to screw this piece right. with oh, those sorry, screws that I showed you, well, but on the outside. outside, and then it's got little hooks. For the outside, and this becomes your hanger bar where you can hang Don't your clothes. Huh? I'm sorry. Yeah, because I mean, you're never not going to want it on there. So, I mean, right. it goes on the outside. And then, yeah, and then it can. And you can move it wherever you want. More to the front. More to the back, but never off. And then, you know, you can pretty much put this. You know, do you think you could put in, you know, either of those bottom shelves wherever you wanted? Yeah, I mean, the, bo the bottom, bottom one, I think you would want there. Just, just for stability? stability right. But I mean, this one right here, you could put it wherever you wanted to do. I wanted to see what it looked like on the bottom, yeah. like this. Yeah. I mean, maybe we'll put it up. I, you know, if we had big boxes, we would probably want it on the bottom. We, want, we would want this a little higher. I just wanted to, you know, I wanted it to look like the picture, really which is though. like that. That's the back. That's and let me see the hanger. So. I mean, it's. Yeah, it's on there pretty good. I mean. Yeah, no, these things are definitely great. Very, very, very sturdy. Yeah. I, I definitely two thumbs up. Definitely, for, definitely, for definitely two thumbs up. That tool to for just in. having this tool. And it comes with it. Yeah. Absolutely. Most things have, you know, you have to go search for a screwdriver, you know, and if you're somebody like 
you know, us and, that don't have, and you have all that tools. Stuff left over. And then they even give you a few things left over in case one of these break. And you, you know, we're definitely going to keep the screw or the wrench, right? Yeah, the wrench. For yeah. Sure, the wrench. So you can find this on Amazon. You can type in Home It Garment Rack and you will definitely be able to find it. And it is, let's see, it is $65.99 and it's free shipping within five days for Prime members. Um, definitely, definitely, definitely thumbs up. I am very impressed with this product and I would definitely buy another one if I need, if I, you know, when I need one for another room, I will definitely be purchasing another one of these. So if you like my video and or the garment rack, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, um, check out some of my past reviews that are somewhere in the bottom there. And come back for my next review. You guys have a wonderful night and I will see you next time. Bye!